Hey, hey guys, it's Vernie here, another Tuesday, another set of vaults. This is week 12, I believe, of season 2. And just looking at my saved instances here, we've got something for every character, at least one key on most of my characters, and I did 5 or 6 raid clears, so let's go ahead and get started, go down this list, knock them out. I guess we'll start with our individual key doers. We'll start with the Hunter. I think the lowest key I did this week was like an 11 on a couple characters, but most of them got at least 16s done. So most of these characters will have 441s. Let's see what we got. Last week was a pretty good week overall. Really easy affixes. It was bolstering Entangle, which Entangle is like a non-affix for most people. And as long as your tanks are good, then bolstering is not that bad. Okay, and this hunter is my lowest character, actually. We really need trinkets and rings. So we, we, we need some jewelry. Really need some jewelry. Oh, we want to be survival? If it's a 16, I should probably go marksman, just in case I get a weapon. Get a mythrack weapon would not be a bad thing. That is a trinket. It's not a very exciting trinket, but I think it is decent for AoE, so we are going to take it. I mean, it's like, what, 40 item levels? Yeah, so 38. We'll replace our little uh, whelp shell. <laughs> Three item levels just on the trinket alone. Cool. Good start. Really good start. And then we've got the mage. Mage also did a 16. You know what? I got the Fire Mage to like, what, 437 and then kind of slowed down on it. Its AoE was nerfed a little over a week ago. Like, its uncapped AoE is slightly less, but it's still a very, very strong class in dungeons. It's pretty good in raid. Frost also looks pretty fun. Now, what, what do we need on this guy? I'm going to craft Shadow Flame Bracers and Cape, I think. Uh, so I guess a Myth Track Spoils. A 441 weapon that we could upgrade would be cool. A different ring. I mean, this guy's pretty kitted. We don't really need a whole lot. This is going to be a really small upgrade, whatever it is. Ooh. Haste Mastery Socketed Myth Ring. Yeah, okay. That's really, really good. That's going to be decent for... It's okay for fire. It's a little less good for frost, but it's not like... I don't think I have enough crit for frost. You need to be crit, like uh, soft crit capped, which I'm not. But okay, we're good with that. Solid increase. And now we will go to... The rogue and the shaman and the paladin, I think, are the last ones. For dungeon only. Trying to speed run this so it's not another 30 minute video opening vaults. At some point, you get too many characters. It's part of the fun, though. So, the rogue did a 16. What kind of 441 are we hoping for? I mean, our tier pieces are all pretty good. We've got 447 gloves, 444 shoulders. Uh, hmm. I guess a myth track loaded dice, another 441 myth track weapon, and bracers. That's really it. This guy's pretty, pretty geared apart from finishing up embellishments. Eh, we'll open a sub. I don't want an outlaw weapon. And myth gloves that we have already. Okay, so we're taking two tokens. First dud of the day. That's all right. Now we go to the Shaman. <clears throat> oh, the Shaman is also really geared. And we're going to go Ellie. I think we're hoping for an Ellie weapon. 
or an Ellie Trinket. I mean, that's really all I care about. Another character that's pretty much done outside of Mythic Gear, you know, or finishing up crest upgrades. It's about as good as it's going to get. 441 gloves. Well, we can't really take those because we have our embellishment there, so we're going to take two tokens. Slowly, these characters will accumulate sockets. You know, like, I don't play them that much, but in three weeks, I'll have enough for a socket. That's perfectly fine if I don't high roll. Uh, what do we got left? Uh, the Paladin did one dungeon, and I did some LFR. I think I just did LFR with my girlfriend because she was practicing healing. And LFR is kind of a shit show. A lot of bad people. <laughs> but it'll give us enough for a socket, so if the 14 doesn't land, we will have enough for a socket on this character. We did get Ashkander the week prior, so we don't need a ret weapon anymore. Heroic Ashkander. We have 437 weapon and shield. So this 14 is going to be 437, I believe. Hmm. I mean, I guess we go holy and pray for a healing weapon. Ring would also be good. Bracers, I have an embellish on. I guess, yeah, like belt, holy weapon, and a ring. Oh, you're joking. Dude, come on. A fucking beacon with avoidance, but of course it's an LFR beacon. What is that upgrade to? Four thirty seven shoulders, we don't need those. So I guess do we take the fucking beacon for memes? Like, doesn't veteran only upgrade to like 431? It might actually be better than these trinkets. You know what? I'm going to take it. Uh, I mean, do I care about a socket? No, fuck it. We're just going to take the beacon. Man, this is so stupid. I should have. Oh, really hurts to see it on like a non-raid difficulty. Like, LFR difficulty is such a meme. Whatever. Maybe we'll use it. Maybe we'll use it as some meme. Okay, let's get rolling. So now we're just going to run through the rest of our characters. A couple of these did four or more dungeons. I think the Warrior, Priest, Evoker, and DK all did more than four dungeons. And then for Raid, we have the DH, the Monk, the Druid, and the Warlock all did Heroic Clears. So we do have a good bit of stuff to open. So what does the warrior need? Did a bunch of 16, so it's a 441 piece. I guess a myth track weapon. Uh, Mark of Dargrul would be pretty sick. Let's go f arms. We can get two handers. Another ring would be sick. A haste mastery ring would be really good. And I guess boots. That's really it. What do we got? Okay. A mastery crit ring, which is not great for fury. It's pretty good for arms. And a 441 mag mammoth scale. Let me take a look at blood mallet. That trinket is not amazing, but I think it's okay in dungeons. Mm, it's pretty low. What do I have? Alchemist Stone. Okay, so <laughs> Blood Mallet actually has the Alchemist Stone higher than this. I think we take the ring. I think we just take the ring. Because my ring is already high mastery, so I'm, I'm only losing a little bit of haste. But it's decent. Okay. And what else we got? Warlock. The Warlock did an 11 and a full heroic clear. 
I was extraordinarily lucky, and I got the heroic class trinket from Neltharian, which is a huge increase on my very first run, nonetheless. So uh, I was just very happy with that. And I think I ended up with four piece, and I've also got the AOTC token, so we can turn it in for heroic tier. So really what we're looking for is I would love to see a Vessel of Searing Shadow, a Chromatic Essence, even a Flowstone would be pretty good. Um, legs, Helm. And then we can use a token to upgrade whatever heroic piece we don't get. Okay. So there is a Hero Helm. Which is pretty good. It's a little lower than like the normal heroic one would be. 434 weapon, which we have a 437. The 437 weapon from Sark, which is Biz stats, but I I don't really need it. And hero gloves. I mean, it's a very clear. We're taking the helm. <clears throat> and we don't have to catalyze it. We'll save a catalyst charge because it's already already tier. Cool. 427. Not bad. Not bad. And I think with the KSM token, we'll either get the chest or the legs. It'll be the biggest upgrade. So, yeah, cool. Okay, DH next. The DH did a 16 and a full heroic clear. So we'll have a 441 and three heroic slots. I could already tell you we're looking for beacon. We want beacon on all our tanks. Because none of them have one except for the Paladin, who just got a, a LFR level one. Outside of a beacon. I mean, I guess a myth track weapon would be okay. Really just want beacon. Beacon or bomb dispenser. Oh! <gasps> Oh, there's both of them! What the fuck? You're joking me. Holy shit. I've, okay, so after complaining, I've never seen either of those trinkets. Now I finally see them. Uh, okay, that's kind of hard, actually. I think they're both, like, first and second bis, but... I gotta post this in guild. Okay, so let's look at like havoc and vengeance. I mean, beacon and bomb dispenser are right on top of each other. Beacon is slightly better for both. Ah. Uh... I think I have to take the beacon. I want the beacon so badly. Oh, my first raid level beacon on a non-healer. How fitting. Cool. Very fucking cool. I'm very pleased with that one. <laughs> All right, now we've got the monk. Monk also did a 16 in a heroic clear. So 441, three heroic slots. <clears throat> Again, another beacon, another bomb dispenser, uh, an essence would be okay. I think trinkets are like the only things I'm really lacking on most of my characters at this point. I don't have a lot of raid trinkets, so we're hoping for a raid trinket. Uh, I'd also take a myth track bile stained crog tusks from Underrot, and then I guess a cape would be a very small upgrade. Obviously, we would just love to see a trinket. So we'll stay as Windwalker and roll the dice. Okay, not quite as lucky and not quite as lucky, but that's okay. So we've got Haste versus Leech. Haste is pretty bad. Crit versus on my Embellished Boots, so that's a no. Haste Mastery Leech on a chest, which I don't hit, turn into tier. I think it's got to be this Myth Track Crit Mastery Leech Helm. It's pretty solid. 
It's a four item level bump right now, but I can upgrade it six more item levels. Plus it's got leech and I already use this uh this slot for tier, so it's a pretty decent upgrade. Four thirty seven forty four, so we're getting there. I need to finish grinding out crests on the the monk this week. All right, and the Druid, another Heroic Clear and an 11. I don't remember why I did an 11. Maybe I needed a Worm Crest or something. But... So we've got all our weapons, right? We have a Jarun Heroic. We have the Bis Heroic weapon from Dungeons for Boomkin. We do need to work on our embellishments a little bit. We need a cape. Uh, I would love to see another Ray Trinket. Uh, a Beacon. I think I might go Boomkin for a chance at, like, Vessel or Flowstone. Because those are pretty interchangeable. My Trinkets are pretty ass, so... Essence, Beacon, Vessel... Ooh, that's none of those. All right. Hero Shoulders, which we've already got. This is a Hero Cape. With okay stats, hero gloves we have, hero helm we have, or I take a socket. I don't really have anything that's amazing. I can socket this, I guess. I think I'd rather take the cape, honestly, and just upgrade it. Just take the item levels. Like, I don't really care about sockets on my 10th alts, you know. Plus, it gives me an appearance I don't have, which I've had a hard time getting this cape. So, we'll take it. Okay, we've got, what, five, four more characters left? <clears throat> this video might be under 30 minutes. So the DK did four 16s, I think, so I'll have two 441 pieces. And what do we really need? Not a whole lot, honestly. I guess bracers, um, a different trinket. The mag mammoth scale isn't great, but like, what dungeon trinkets can I even get that are that are worth it at this point? Maybe the raid horn would be okay. Not a lot, you know. We've got some 447 embellishments too, so we're pretty set there. I mean, outside of like grinding the rest of my myth gear up to 447 and like raid trinkets, there's not a whole lot we can get. Four forty one belt on an embellished slot and four forty one bracers, which I already or sorry, shoulders, which I already have, so I guess we're taking the tokens and we will take a socket. Not a super fun outcome, but considering what we've had this week, this is like the first dud. I can put a put a socket on my frostfire belt. That's not that bad. Cool. Alright. We've got left Evoker and the Priest. I think I've done everything else. Evoker did a 20. I think it did a 21, actually, and then a couple 19. So I'll have two dungeon slots, one 447, one 444. And this guy is also pretty much done, apart from upgrading his gear. Like I need some more crafted 447s, but... What are we hoping for? I guess an augmentation trinket? Uh, a ring to replace the amulet? It's going to be really incremental, whatever it is. I would prefer not a cape. Cape would be pretty disappointing. Ooh. Crit versus avoidance myth neck with a socket already. I mean, the socket doesn't really mean anything. Saves me some gold, I guess. But a voodoo doll. The voodoo doll is actually pretty decent damage for a single target. I think that might be worth taking for Dev and for Og. Yeah, I think we're going to take the voodoo doll. It's kind of an interesting trinket. Can't say it's amazing, but it's not spoils. Oh, 
Oh, and it's going to let me upgrade my trinkets to 441 for free, because I have two of them now. That's cool. Save a couple aspect crests, which are in short supply. And lastly, we've got the priest. The priest did 420s. I finished the rest of my portals this week, and I did one wing of LFR just to get a socket in case I need to take a socket. Because there's not going to be a whole lot of upgrades. Like, outside of, like, boots, and then offhand, and I guess this ring. There really isn't a whole lot we can get. You know, we're pretty much full 447. So this is going to be a bit of a roll. Hmm. 447 crit versus ring. Those stats are awful for every spec. 447 legs, which we have. An LFR chest, which we could take for the appearance. This would not be the first time we've taken an LFR appearance. And the set is pretty cool, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I took the shoulders, like, what, two weeks ago? I have nothing to socket, and I already have eight tokens, so buying another, getting like another six tokens really doesn't interest me a whole lot. I think I'm just going to take the appearance, because why not? It's pretty hard to get LFR gear, so I don't see any harm in it. If I'm missing the normal slot, yeah, I can get the normal chest as well. I don't have that. Or the heroic chest. So, you know, that's uh, three free appearances for the price of one. Just grab those real quick. Spend my flight stones. What do we got? Where is it at? I think it'll give me all three. Well, it gave me two. Not high enough for heroic, I guess. It's not. Okay. Well, you still got the normal chest and the raid finder chest, so cool. Affix this week. Tyrannical and corporeal spiteful. Ooh, that's kind of a rough week. Well, not a great week for keys. We'll be doing raid this week, it looks like, but we'll get what we can done. I did finish all my portals on this character. I got a couple portals on my augmentation of ochre as well. So we're kind of chilling now. We'll see what we want to do the rest of the season. I think it's going to be mostly gearing the rest of my alts, just trying them in raid. See what I want to do for next tier. Not like fully decided on Shadow. Shadow is pretty fun in dungeons, but it's, I don't know, kind of hit or miss in raid. So we'll see. But hopefully you guys have some good luck in your vaults. And we'll see you next time. Peace.